Sensory rooms are incredibly important for us. Edgebaston wants to be for everyone and we want anyone to be able to come and watch cricket and feel comfortable. So we came up with the idea that we needed to create two rooms so that whether you're at the city end or the pavilion end um, and you needed to take your child, young adult, into a safe space for a few hours, you'd have that um, capability here at Edgebaston. We don't want um, it to be a barrier to watching live sport. I think before sensory rooms, we, we struggled, if we're honest. We had a 2020 match, for, for instance, which is a few hours. That's a long time, um, especially for Stanley to not get overwhelmed or overstimulated. And not having a break or somewhere to go or somewhere to make it easier to get through them tough times um, is hard. So I think I know that Lindsay and the, Lindsay's boys and Celia can have a place to come, a safe space. Um, their times could be manageable now at the cricket and we can last a lot longer. And they're my biggest supporters, so yes, yeah, it's, it's really good now. It's made a, a good change in our lives. Well, it was just all the time, it was just all, all over, too, like, overwhelming, like the noise, because it's soundproof, like, there's no, it's not much any, there's no more noise anymore. I wanted to watch him, but, like, the crowd was really, like, overwhelming and, like, the speakers, but in here it's just really not. We love to pave the way so um, we've got um, other grounds coming to take pictures, understanding how we do it, how we operate it is really key um, and the ECB are doing a bit of a case study on us as well. To have this space does help and I think it's something that if, if I can help spread that and an acceptance and awareness and that's a good thing for all of us to do really.